Hello everybody. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I am Jignesh Shirke, uh, working for uh, Dr. Patak sir, and uh, I am working here as a junior software engineer for uh, JavaFX team and uh, for Moodle as well. Last year I was the Moodle admin for the workshop, and uh, this year too I am the Moodle admin. So let's start with the Moodle. Uh, Moodle is basically a course management system where teacher can create their uh, courses and then student can log into the Moodle and access those courses. Then teacher can uh, put online quiz where uh, student can access, uh, uh, take that quiz and then the teachers can uh, grade them and Moodle can uh, and then uh, st student can see their uh, grades and all. So let's start with the IIT Moodle. So, so uh, link for the IIT Moodle is www.it uh, www.it.iitb.ac.in slash Moodle. I hope everyone uh, must have got their username and password with them. You have to use this uh, link for accessing the Moodle. Then. Uh, Once you open this page, you will get this this page of this is the home page of the uh, DBB's Moodle, and on the right hand side upper corner you will see the login block. Enter your username and password over there. Once you are logged in, uh, you will see this page. This is my uh, admin page, so it will be different from your since you all are the students. You must be getting this kind of page over there, right? So to view the participants, uh, we can go to the participant link, which is at the left hand side corner, people participants. From here you can view all the participants in that course. You can view it by the current role of there, like teachers are Abhilash K, Dr. Patak Mukta Atre and Suresh Kumar. You can view there more details about them. Then for uh, accessing the contents of the uh, course, you have to, there will be uh, links provided like this day one presentation, workshop schedule, day two presentation and uh, assignment submission link. So just click on it and you can save the presentations. For uh, assignment submission link, uh, this uh, will uh, help you to upload your files, upload your assignment files. So click on that, then browse, then go back to the home page. So if you are the teacher, you can view that whoever has submitted that assignment, view submitted assignment. Then in Moodle, there is a uh, facility to group the students. So you can create different groups and assign them to each of the student. I will create a group for IITB. Then this enrollment key is for when the students logged in means uh, for the first time they can use this enrollment key to uh, means by default they will be uh, added into that group. So I will keep it as IITB and save changes. So the group is created then we can add or remove the users. So I will just add it back to groups, then participants,
Now, since I have not uh, set the group settings, so see over here there are no groups, there is a separate groups, visible groups. In separate groups, uh, the group activity done by one group cannot be uh, like visible to another. In visible groups, the group activity done by one group can be visible by the another. So, I will put it as visible groups, then save changes. Now, participants say visible groups, there are four participants in it. Now, we can send the messages to each of the participant, send message. preview and send. So, next time these users log in, they will get this message on their uh, uh, Moodle page and uh, the same notification will be given to uh, into their email. Now, from teacher's point of view, uh, you can add uh, different uh, contents on this page for that. Uh, you have to click on turn editing on, add a resources, link to a file or a website. You just give it at sample file, then choose or upload a file. Then I will choose this file. Now, in common module settings, you will see uh, available for groups member only. So, if we choose uh, the groups, it will be available for that group only. Save and return to course. See, over here uh, the file has been uh, uploaded. You can change the positioning of the file. That is done. You can uh, make it visible or invisible. It will be invisible for the student now. Then the you can add an activity. There are uh, various kind of activity, advanced uploading of files, online text, upload a single file, offline activity. Now, advanced uploading of, of files uh, enables you to upload uh, means more than one uh, file and in upload a single file, you can upload a, uh, only a one single file. And there are chat option, voice, database, feedback. Feedback is for uh, like you can create a feedback uh, page and then student can give their feedback on it and then forum for group discussion, then lessons quiz. Yeah, quiz is a very important uh, uh, aspect of this uh, Moodle where uh, teachers can create the quiz and student can uh, take the quiz. And uh, it has this uh, advanced options of uh, like grading the quiz and uh, it is all done by uh, Moodle itself. Like uh, if a user takes the quiz, the, all the uh, marking and all is done by the Moodle itself. So, let us uh, create a link for uh, uploading a file. Here you can put their grades then available from then prevent late submission yes then maximum upload size you can set it as uh, 20 mb or 10 mb as per the file 
allow deleting yes student can delete that file then maximum upload number of upload files by default it's 3 you can set it as 9 or 10 then allow notes And this uh, question mark icon gives you the uh, what this allow notes does and means uh, what each control does it, each settings does. So allow note, if enable participants may enter notes into text area. It is similar to online text assignment. This text box can be used for communication with the grading person, assignment progress descript, uh, description or any other written activity. Now, uh, in common module setting, you can set is at group mode, visible groups, then save and return. So now, uh, once the link is created, student can upload their assignments. send for marking. Then teachers can view Okay, since uh, admin has uploaded files, it's not showing over there. And over here, administration tab, uh, you can see turn editing on, the, by which uh, you can enable various settings and all. In settings, you can change the settings of the course itself. Then in assigned roles, uh, you can assign different kind of role uh, for the Moodle user. Like uh, there are 26 students over there and if I want to assign one of the students a teacher role, then Now in participants, you can see the one more teacher has been given. Monar has been given the teacher's uh, role. So now uh, he can uh, change the course setting and uh, upload their files and create links for submission. In grades, teacher can grade their uh, student according to their uh, uh, performance and all. In show groups, your yeah, teacher can write the nodes. And there, since there are no grades, we can grade them. Teacher can write a uh, note for the student, then save changes. And uh, she can also upload uh, her response file.
that's it. Uh, I think uh, I have covered up the basic part of the uh, Moodle, uh, like how to operate a Moodle, and uh, configuration part will be uh, done on the last day uh, by uh, uh, one of our team members, and uh, that's it.